Good morning, members of parliament, ladies and gentlemen, all tuned in to the continuation of this Central Committee meeting of parliament. I welcome to the meeting, of course, the members of parliament, all tuned in via the different media. Good morning once again and welcome. This is Central Committee meeting number six that we continue with today, Wednesday, October the 16th. At this time, I want to give a special welcome to the Minister of Finance and her support staff here with us today. We have established a quorum of nine members. Please stand for a moment of silence. Thank you. I have not received any notices of absence or lateness at this time. Are there any notices from the floor? There, yes, we do have some notices from the floor. So I invite to take the floor MP Irian. MP Irian, you have the floor. Good morning, Madam President, SG, members of parliament, the minister and support staff to the viewing public. Madam Chair, my first, first notice is that MP Duran will be a little late for this meeting. And secondly, Madam Chair, because I've been getting a lot of questions regarding, let's say, media articles, I would really like to um, stress, just like to have um, clarity, but also in the future, let's just be honest with our messaging going forward. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, MP Irian. MP Myers, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam Chair. Good morning to you. Good morning to my colleagues in Parliament, the Honorable Minister of Finance, uh, radio listeners, those who are watching on social media, and those to you in the Tribune. Good morning. Yesterday, um, Madam Chair, um, I wanted to, but I didn't want to, um, you know, there were other members who extended their condolences to the Brown family for the tragic loss of their son and their brother uh, and his, his companion who passed away tragically over the weekend in a motorcycle accident. So I would like to extend my condolences to the family, uh, Manuel Brown in particular. We worked for many years together over at the old government administration building. So my heart and my prayer my prayers go out to him and his family. I will also like to extend my condolences to the Sprott family and the passing of um, Wilfred Sprott, affectionately, affectionately known to all of us as Wifi or Coach Sprott. He passed away yesterday um, and to the Tigers vets in which he played second base for um, to that organization, wishing them, wishing them the comfort and the strength during this difficult time. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you, MP Myers. I don't see any other request for notifications at this time. And just a general reminder with respect to notification is that it is meant for exactly what the name implies. So members are free, of course, to make a notification, express a sentiment, whatever that sentiment might be but it is not the opportunity, I would say, yet for um, questions. So I want to say this ahead of time so that I would not be asked for the minister to respond to a question raised during notification. So just that that is understood. Other than that, of course, members are free to make a notification um, based on whatever sentiments they wish to express. So I want to thank the members for their notifications, and then we can go over to the agenda point for this meeting. And that is the draft national ordinance amending the national ordinance budget 2024. It is national ordinance number 181 of the parliamentary year 2024-2025, and it is IS number 124 of the same parliamentary year, and it's dated October the 4th. So the incoming document is dated October the 4th, 2024. 
As I mentioned, we received the draft amended budget 2024 on October the 4th. All members are in possession of this document, hard copy as well as a digital copy. And this meeting actually got started on Thursday, October the 10th, with a first presentation by the Minister of Finance. And then following that, of course, members ask questions during that session, not only to the Minister of Finance, but also um, regarding other ministries. And we have had ministers, based on those questions, come in to respond to these questions of members of parliament. And the last such session that we had before this one of this morning was, of course, yesterday, Tuesday, October the 15th, and members raised issues with the ministers present. And ministers are now, or we have started now, with ministers returning to respond to questions posed by members of parliament. Mm -hmm. So that is where this meeting, or yes, this meeting shall commence with the Minister of Finance being present and um, to address questions raised by members of parliament or any comments with respect to the draft budget 2024 that were made by members of parliament. So Minister, once again, welcome to you and your support staff, and I give you the floor for your responses to parliament. Minister, you have the floor. Madam Chair, honorable members of parliament, 